Delete all. Add a plane. Go to Edit Mode. Scale it to 2 in the x-axis. Rotate it 90 degrees in the x-axis. Choose the Subdivision Surface Modifier. Level View Port to 6. Simple. Add a Simple Deform Modifier. Choose Bend. 180 degrees. Add a second Simple Deform Modifier. Also Bend. 360. And on the z-axis. Now apply all modifiers. Go to Object. Set Origin. Geometry to Origin. Press 1 on your numpad. Rotate it 90 degrees. Select all. Press M. By distance. Select one side. Activate proportional editing. Choose sphere. Move it a little bit out. Choose another subdivision surface modifier. Apply. Shade smooth. Go back to edit mode. Shift D to duplicate. S X to invert it. Move it until it fits. Go to the texture tab. Add a new material. Press assign. Now go back to object mode, switch to render view, go to your render settings, switch to cycles, enable scene world, open the shader editor and add the shader you see now. Make sure the pivot point is on the iris. Now select the second material, set up the nodes like you can see on the screenshot now. Play around with these values if you want to change the color of your eye. And if you want to change the veins, change this value or this value. Go back to solid mode, select the end of our eye and stretch it back. Select the middle and scale it down. For more detail, select different vertices. Press Ctrl plus two times. Switch to individual origins and extrude. Switch back to medium point and scale it down. And merge it back to the rest of the mesh. Switch to the sculpting panel. Select the Smooth tool and smooth it out. Draw along the veins to increase the detail level. And if you are done, you should have something similar like this. It also works with Eevee.